Hi, my name is Dr. Trudy Germanovich, and I'd like to speak to you today on trusting teachers and the resignations which you had before you in the agenda today. In looking over the resignations, I found that nearly 90% had worked in Title I schools. I believe the teachers at these schools are under an incredible amount of micromanagement by the system. Because they're also working with students who are from low SES circumstances, the emphasis on test prep is often mandated and overwhelming. I believe these resignations are indicative of a bigger problem in this district. Perhaps this di district needs to take a systemic look at the pressures that all teachers are feeling. I will quote from an, the Atlantic article, one of the articles in your tome I'm giving you today. Chartoni misses that feeling of being trusted as a professional in Finland, teacher that taught in Finland. There, after receiving her teaching timetable at the start of each school year, she would be given the freedom to prepare curriculum-aligned lessons which matched her preferences and teaching style. I wanted to do my best all the time, she said, because they trusted me and my abilities. The author continues, I encountered something similar when I moved to Finland from the U.S., where I started my teaching career, and personally, myself. I also felt that in my teaching career, I had the trust of the <coughs> system to make the right decisions, and they trusted me to make the right decisions for my students. According to the National Center for Education Statistics report, teacher autonomy is positively associated with teachers' job satisfaction and retention. And while most U.S. public school teachers report a moderate amount of control in the classroom, many say they have little autonomy in the classroom. In fact, the percentage of U.S. public school teachers who perceive very low autonomy in the classroom grew from 18% in 03-04 to 26% in 2011-2012. In general, U.S. public school teachers report they have the least amount of control over two particular areas of teaching, selecting textbooks and other classroom materials such as computers and software and selecting content, topics, and skills to be taught. I ask you to consider the lack of autonomy may have led to so many Title I teachers submitting their resignation. Another response from a, fin a different Finland teacher. One of these educators, a veteran ESL teacher at Maryland Public Elementary School, said her own teaching experiences regarding the high level of trust bestowed on Finland's teachers were similar to the other authors. While teaching in Finnish schools, she had plenty of leeway to plan with her colleagues, select curricular materials for the principal to consider purchasing, and influence decisions about schedules and responsibilities. Today, with 16 years of teaching in U.S. public schools under her belt, this ESL teacher feels that she lacks a career in teaching. She described it now as a rote job where she follows a curriculum she didn't develop herself, keeps principal-dictated schedules, and sits in meetings where details aren't debated. This leads me to another topic that will be considered today, and I will probably be back here for it, although we could have had the speakers at 5 p.m., and it would have been much more convenient for everyone. And we will next week. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> this leads me to another topic. The survey con was conducted uh, by BTU very recently on the iReady software for Title I schools, and you will be looking at this a little later today. But I uh, urge you to postpone this purchase until after the promised workshop that was supposed to be on updated, uh, I believe, in January on technology. And I brought with me what was done by this board, and you were all on the board. This was your last technology. It's huge. This was what you did before you purchased technology in 2014 and it's out of date now. It went through 2016. I hope the January workshop goes to teachers like this did, 
goes to students like this did. Go back and look at that. That was an excellent document. And it should be not just replicated, but improved. So I urge you to look carefully at any purchases as you are beginning to do, I think, and I know that Ms. Levinson has requested several times that the staff provide a list of programs and how those programs are being used and how much they're going to cost in the future and those kinds of things. A nice, simple spreadsheet. That's what we all need. As far as I ready, I do also had some comments from other places I just wanted to read to you. Uh, one person said, we've used it in, for years in Miami-Dade, and I'm not impressed. The kids end up hating it. It's their least favorite chore. Another teacher said, yep, and when they test, it doesn't include the minutes in total. I have seven working computers. This was Broward. Eighteen kids. Invariably, one or more of the computers freezes or has some other glitch. I just Thank want you. you to let teachers teach. Thank Thanks. you.